hi everyone welcome back to the channel guys watch me create this really simple but classy cut crease look while i talk about something that i've been putting off for a while but i think this is the best time to just talk about it and that is how to properly brand yourself as a makeup artist i'm also going to be talking about some mistakes i made when i first started my career and how i fixed them i've been working as a makeup artist for seven years now and oh my god it's been a ride if you're new to this channel welcome please don't be a stranger please like and subscribe to my channel so we can keep on seeing each other on this youtube street if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always supporting me i don't take it for granted at all guys let's go straight into this video the first thing i want to talk about is the importance of building your portfolio guys it's not every job you go for you have to post the picture or the video this is a mistake i i made back then when i just started i was feeling so much pressure to always post every single job i go out there to do but i am didn't post well for the picture or the video if you have problem with your lighting or maybe you're so much in a rush and you didn't put out your best work guys do not feel pressure to post the video or post the picture it's going to ruin your portfolio and we do not want that next thing i want to talk about is pricing never be afraid to increase your price when you feel you've added more knowledge and you should increase your price your clients will definitely pay you even if you increase your price or not they know your worth if anybody doesn't want to pay you then that person is not your client always set your pricing then increase it little by little as you improve on your work and as you get further in your artistry also do not give discounts anyhow do not do your work for free because when the words get out you simply become the discount lady everybody will come to you when they want discount and no real clients will come and actually pay you for your work the next thing i want to talk about is your business policies guys i cannot say this enough get a very clear and straightforward business policy this is so so important when i first started uh, my career i didn't have a policy i just put on my prices and then whichever client comes i just take the job and even begin to explain how much shitty crazy situations not having a business policy puts me in this if i want to give one advice if you if you want to take one advice from this video get a business policy make it clear make it straightforward and always refer your your clients to your policies before they make payments so they know what you're about they know the liberties they should take and the ones they should not take now let's talk about professionalism as, as a makeup artist you're having personal interactions with people your personal hygiene has to be up to par guys your personal hygiene has to be 100 percent when going for jobs not having personal hygiene not dressing modestly not being organized as a makeup artist is a no-no always be on time always dress modestly know how to manage your time before going for jobs make sure you clean your kits you clean your makeup box you clean your powders clean your foundations clean everything that needs to be cleaned wash your makeup brushes i i don't know i don't know why at this age and time some people go to jobs with dirty brushes remove any dirty brush from your kit and if you've used a brush over a period of time and you find out that maybe it's broken or it's a uh, frame simply just change your makeup brushes just change it this is something you're putting on people's faces it needs to be sanitized it needs to be sanitary what I do is I always have a spray bottle in my makeup kit filled with alcohol solution. I could use this to sanitize everywhere, sanitize all my products. Let the client see that you are intentional about how sanitary you are and this will literally boost their confidence in you as a makeup artist and allow them, you know, let you put all your tools on their face. Another thing I want to talk about is when choosing your brand name, when choosing a name for your profile, for your business, you need to pray, guys. Take your time and choose 
something that is really practical and something that you can use in the long run on all your socials don't pick based on what you see someone else do don't pick your name based on someone else's name i see a lot of people make this mistake and it's totally wrong pray and pick something that resonates with you as a brand that that you could literally use and be happy with years to come learn to connect with people i know it's not everybody that is social but in this business who you know is just as important as what you know so you need to connect to people in your field you need to advertise yourself every chance you get if you're into bridals connect with photographers hairstylists come out meet other makeup artists tell them to refer you make a good impression with your clients so you can also get referrals do collaboration this will really help you the last thing i'm going to be talking about is consistency it can get really tough at times it can get really hard at times i'm not going to lie but don't stop keep pushing through keep pushing and pushing and in no time you're going to see the results and reap the results so guys this is the end of this video and this is the finished look what do you think about this look i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe just subscribe now so you don't forget subscribe now thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.